Good morning, everybody. I know it's a um, it's a Sunday morning, and uh, and uh, I am uh, just getting ready to uh, uh, get my son some breakfast, and then we're heading to the tennis courts, obviously, at a tennis uh, tournament in Knoxville, Tennessee. But I wanted to talk about the market. I'm hearing a lot of conversations right now, uh, which is I'm I, I'm not surprised, and that is you know well what's going to be the impact of the um, of the interest rates. What is going to happen with inflation? You hear recession all over the news right now. And, and so you're starting to hear people talk about that. I'm talking to sellers and they're saying, hey, or, or potential sellers, well, what do you think is going to happen to the market? Um, and, you know, the question is out there is like, uh, you know, is the market going to shift? And I wanted to talk to you all with at Real Estate Sales Solutions about what is a market shift? Um, let me... In, in my opinion, in my experience, let me kind of share with you how I determine if the market is shifting. What I look at is the, is, are, are, are the questions shifting? Are the conversations shifting? It, it's, it's the earliest indicator. So we, we have these things called leading indicators and then we have lagging indicators. A lagging indicator is when we look in the MLS and we see that closed sales have decreased. I'm not saying that they have, but as an example, if you see closed sales have decreased, or if you saw the average price for a closed sale has decreased, you're kind of looking at a set of data that tells you what happened in the past. So we're using past data to try, to try to predict the future. That's what we call lagging indicators. Leading, leading indicators are what are some of the things that you can look at to guess, predict, or project where the market's going. It's, it's, it's looking at things that haven't happened yet. Yet being able to observe those things and making an assumption as to which direction the market's going. Those are leading indicators. So you got leading indicators and you got lagging indicators. So how do you know when a market's shifting or what is a market shift? First off, the market shift, in my opinion, starts when we go from everyone has 100% certainty to now they're starting to feel some uncertainty. So the first thing I call it the most leading indicator in my mind Again, this is based on my 27 plus years of experience in selling real estate, going through many ups and downs and surviving every single one of them. And as a matter of fact, thriving when the market was down. So I, I, I have been through these things. And what I've noticed in the past and what I'm starting to hear right now is we are shifting from certainty to uncertainty. Now, how do I know that? Greg, why do you say that? Because I was just talking to a seller Three months ago, now nah, I think I'm going to wait. The market's going to continue to go up. It's going to go up a lot more. Matter of fact, if we do put it on the market, I'm going to want $50,000 more. Okay. Now for a seller to say that, they must feel a lot of certainty. Now a seller says, what do you think the market's going to do? Do you think the market's going to correct? Um, do you think this is a bubble? Greg, what, uh, what, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen to prices next year? Well, like if there's so much certainty, if everyone's so confident in what's going on, then why ask those questions? Hmm. That's a sign that we're shifting from certainty to uncertainty. Now, if you've ever attended any Tony Robbins uh, events, uh, he talks about certainty as a, one of the basic human needs. It's a, it's a, it's a basic need of all humans is to feel certainty. So when somebody's feeling uncertain, they start asking questions like, what do you think is going to happen? When somebody's um, feeling certain, they don't ask as many questions because they already know what's going to happen. A shift in a market occurs after a shift in sellers' thinking. Now, let me share with you buyers. Buyers. A uh, couple months ago, and maybe I, you're probably still experiencing some of this in your market right now. Um, buyers, yes, um, what do I need to offer? How much more over full price do we need to go? Yes, I will, I will not make it contingent upon uh, financing. No, no, no contingency on home inspection. No contingency on appraisal. Yes, I just want it. 
What is it going to take to win that offer? When buyers are saying that, that's they're saying that because there's a lot of certainty. They they already know what's going to happen. They know it's going to be okay. Now, I've heard buyers say though recently, real recently in the last week or so, two weeks. Well, well, do you think the interest rates are, are if we wait, the prices are going to come down? You think we should just hold off and wait a year and see what happens to the interest rates? Well, if I'm going to buy now, I, I mean, I'll offer full price, but I'm not going to offer over full price. I, I, I just, I'm not that confident in the market. So how do we go from, what is it going to take for me to win? I'll pay anything, no contingencies to, what? Well, do you think I should wait? Ah, uh, that's a leading indicator. We went from, certainty and now some uncertainty is starting to creep in now it's a way too early for greg harrelson to sit here and say the market's going down the market's going to correct but what i want to do with each one of you that are so loyal to real estate sales solutions and and my agents and whatnot what i want to do is i want all of you to just observe the shifts that's occurring in the conversations you can project, predict, speculate what that's going to mean for your market. But I'm here to make us all aware that we need to take note because when the market shifts, whether it shifts to the positive or whether it shifts to the negative, the key to thriving as a real estate agent is to shift your conversations. See, if the market's shifting, if the consumer's thoughts are shifting, we as real estate agents need to think through this and we need to figure out and, and, and discover what shifts do we need to make in the conversations that we're having with the consumer. That's incredibly important. So a market shift to me is nothing more than a consumer shifting from certainty to uncertainty. And depending on how uncertain they become will dictate the effects that it'll have on the market. When people are 100% certain, they drive the prices up like crazy. Because there's never, it's never going to end. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to make so much money. I'm so certain of it. Prices escalate sharply when there's that much certainty. And we all have to admit, there's been a lot of certainty. Now the challenge is, is when the consumer becomes uncertain and the market softens a little bit, guess what happens then? Agents become uncertain. See, when agents have a lot of certainty, guess what they do? They come into the office late or don't come into the office. They stop lead generating because they don't have to. Like certainty creates bad habits amongst real estate agents. So you, but when we start to feel uncertain, then people start saying, oh gosh, I need to get back to that. So I ask you, are you saying I need to get back to that? Are you experiencing a little bit of uncertainty yourself? Maybe you are, maybe you're not. But I can assure you, real estate agents, in my opinion, are getting ready to experience a lot of uncertainty. And that does not mean that they're going to have a challenge. It just means they need to shift their routines and shift their habits. So when the consumer has uncertainty, the agent must shift the conversations. When we're feeling uncertainty in our business, we must shift. Our and when both of those things occur, you can actually take more market share in an uncertain market than you can in a certain market. That is a fact. But you really have to plug in, pay attention, be present to what's going on. I tell you one thing I'd hope you do, and this is a, a, a shameless plug. Why don't you join Agent Success Academy and allow me to coach you through these things? Allow Abe Self Safa to coach you through these things so you can thrive in the next market. Just remember, a market shift is should not be scary. The only thing you should worry about is if the market shifts, but you don't. 
I know it's Sunday. You all go out, have a wonderful day. I'm getting ready to go out and, and, and hang out at the tennis courts all day with my son. It's going to be great. We'll talk soon.